So once again, it's me, your border man, NJ, to the city with the number two in T.O. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So one of the top things that I'm thinking about going forward is when it comes to um, the continuous influx of new students coming into Allendini's High School over the next, you could probably say next two to three years, if not whole oh, next five to six years, and so on. As I've been telling everybody, um, once the new two new high schools open up, it's going to slice, if I'm not mistaken, Nisa's student body in half. You know, if you were the person to ask me. And hopefully, God forbid, more than half. So the point is, we're definitely not going to have nearly as many as we have now. You know, like I say, that's a good thing and a bad thing. You know, it's a good thing in terms of, you know, that means you hopefully get, you know, less students in the classroom in terms of more one-on-one -on -one attention with, a with like, for example, go from, like, I guess you could say 20 students in a classroom, 20 I'm going to say 20, 25, go from 20, 25 students in the classroom to probably, I'm going to say 14, 15, you know, um, and, and so on. Like that's, that, like, that's the point with these two new high schools in some type of way, class sizes, because, because of student body being sliced in half, if not, you know, more than half, you know, that's what it's, that's what it's going to do. That's what, you know, you, you know that's what's going to do. Having at least, at least, you know, I would say a good 14, 15 students in each class, you know, if not even possibly a couple less than that, if not maybe a couple more, but definitely nowhere near 2025, 20, you know, unless it's, you know, I would say an elective class that everybody just wants to be in so bad or whatever. Um, once again, I've done majority of my job, if not all of my job, trying what I can to keep all of our students in-house, keep all of our in-house talent in-house because I want these to continuously grow, thorough, <laughs> like, grow thrive, uh, learn, build, and succeed with each other. I really, really do. And to all that do not know me, NJ to the city, your boy, the man, or your boy, the man, NJ to the city, needs ambassador, VRA Hawk ambassador, etc. So particularly, especially if you went, if you didn't go to class, if you didn't go to Valley Ridge and you didn't go, um, go to school with the class of 2021 and you haven't seen me around the uh, sporty events yet you you know again my name is nathaniel joshua williams aka nj to the city uh rapper single songwriter so nj to the city is my rapper name graduated part of class of 2018 and i'm one of your only alumni if not one of your actually yeah one of your only alumni that still cares to come back around give back support cheer on support and encourage you know the future of our school in every such way that i possibly can I love all of our alumni. I went to school with dozens and dozens of them, hundreds and hundreds, thousands and thousands. You get the point, you know. I went to school with a lot of them, you know, pretty popular kid, you know, which is why they call me famous, etc. Uh, with that being said, I'm still aware that we don't have nearly as many alumni coming back for anything. We have plenty of alumni that played sports, and I don't see many of them coming back for anything. Now, some of them have excuses, viable uh, excuses. Some of them um, are actually busy raising uh, a family now. Some of them, not a, not a lot, but definitely some of them are busy raising families now. I'm still in contact with some of them. Still, some of them are still, some of them are busy raising families. Um, some of them, you know, are in a di in, uh, in a different state. Uh, I would say some of them are in a different country. Some of them are in the military. So you know, some you know, some if not quite a quite you know a bit have their excuses. You know, viable excuses. A lot of them I don't think have any real excuses other than the fact that they just left Nice behind them as they graduated. And so on, which I think is daunting for me personally, you know, but at the same time, you know, all glory be to God, we're still family and I love you for better and for worse. And I hope that you, you'll eventually come back and holler at the school, holler at whoever, which is kind of a little bit, I hate to say a little word illiterate there, because, because knowing how many students, not students, Knowing how many faculty and staff members have been literally replaced, you know, um, you know, over the last two, three, four years, the the school is being, did I even say, has been pretty much, I can't even tell whether it's an uh, eighty or ninety percent of the of the of the of the school has been remade. Um, it's, it's definitely started before I graduated, but since I graduated, it's definitely been like eighty to ninety percent of of the staff. That's been just remade um, and so on. So it pretty much, you know, goes into the fact of so it's like it's a good thing and a bad thing. So it's like new students grow with a new a new uh, new students growing, growing with a new uh, a, a new staff and support system. I, I, I would add um, slash you could say um, to truly a new 
students growing with a new faculty and staff, but I just want to say staff and, and, and support system. But yeah, that's the good thing about it. The bad part about it would be, at least for the alumni, if they ever come back, is that it's going to be hard to find anybody that you went to school with, you know, in that, um, in that area. It's going to be hard to find any teacher that, you know, that is still here, you know, you know, it really is, you know. Now, there's still quite a few that I can name, but depending on which ones you can name, it's going to be super duper extremely hard. So definitely, unless you play the sport and God willing, your coach is still, you know, here, you know, other than that, I, you know, can't blame you for if you did come back feeling lost and completely jaded because it does feel like everything has been, you know, because everything has been, majority of it in the 80s or 90s has been remade and you're not going to be able to recognize anything for the most part. But I still would like to say all to all these alumni still come back every once in a while. Like I said, you don't have to be me. You're me. You've been going, you've been coming back nine out of 10 every sporting event that you can possibly make. So you definitely don't have to be me. You can come back just on the rivalry games, you know, like a PV, like a St. Ong, like a, you know, whatever else game. Bartram, even though that's depending with sport. Actually, I think in all sports, they, they're they definitely, you know, in terms of versus us, they, they definitely, you know, take a, they would take us down, I think, on almost every sport, I think. But you, you kind of get the point where I'm trying to alliterate there. You know, you don't have to be me and go come back 9 out of 10. I'm just trying to be respectful towards you know, towards my niece Panthers in terms of, hey, we know who Bartram is, don't we? We know that they definitely whoop our tail in, in football. And I don't know if, I don't know about all the other sports, but I think they whoop our tail in pretty much every other sport too. You know, but I just try to be respectful there. I didn't want to say they whoop our tail, but they do, you know. And so I just try to be as most respectful as I could be there um, and so on. Even though that's just, you know, blatantly honest, they do. They would definitely whoop our tail in football. Uh, I believe they whoop our tail in either every other sport, if not definitely all other sports. But I think everybody can understand my, my, my point there to all alumni. If you can find, you know, ways, reasons, games to come back for, particularly rivalry games, please do. Please feel free to. And trust me, you know, it would be a blessing not only for me to see you again, but for hopefully some of the newest students, you know, no matter what grade they're 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 in to see your 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 face and hopefully be inspired by your story about you know where you are now and let alone where you came from with you know how you began at, at, at um Allen Dini's high school you know whether you're talking to one student a crowd of students talking to the student section you know you know and you know you know what you know whichever one you were to take there because I just want everybody to understand you know I understand that depending on how your high school tended and, and definitely depending on what which high school you go to or went to um, for just neutrally anybody watching this video I understand sometimes you just you don't you really don't want anything to do with your high school after you, after you graduated but I'm trying to change that narrative to the best of my God first willing and able abilities because I think that's trash honestly now in terms of you know for you it's not really trash you have your own reasons and etc you know god bless you try what i can to respect those uh, reasons but in terms of just in general i'm trying what i can to absolutely you know turn that negative into a positive in terms of i'm absolutely trying to flip just flip it upside down to where people start supporting their high schools the same way that they support their colleges let alone support all k-12 generally really all k-12 because if we can start doing that Trust me, the future of the next generation will grow up way happier, healthier, cleaner, more sustainable. You get the point. This is definitely a battle of youth mental health, and I'm pretty sure, I'm telling you, if we can, you know, get on the right edge, get on the right, um, you know, get the right tools when it comes to, you know, where we're going in the future when it comes to it, trust me, you know, things are definitely, it has a godly breeze on by. Definitely just be better, you know. And so on, but... um. Yeah, because uh, PV Girls Soccer, they just won states um, a couple days ago. Uh, PV Girls Lacrosse, uh, they won by one point versus IMG. I was at that game. It was a phenomenal game. It's games like that that you have you have to schedule if you want to know what it takes takes to go all in, to win it all, you know, and be champions consistently enough, let alone refine your program to be the best that y'all can at, 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 at any given moment. 
But um, the point there is that I, I understand that with the, the, the two new schools that are opening up, let alone uh, the attraction of um, some of P, some of PV's uh, sports, particularly of lacrosse and um, and soccer and so on, and and definitely their their growing basketball programs um, as of this year. I understand for some kids, it's definitely going to be like it's it's enticing. I, I love it for all you new kids that are currently at VRA, PVA, Landrum, Bassetti, and more. I, I love that you have the option of a free market. I love that. Trust me, I love that. You have the option of a free market. But I also cannot stand that, you know, the free market, though, takes you away from Nice, my beloved alma mater, which will hopefully be your beloved alma mater eventually. Um, again, and I support Nice like a college, just to let you know, you know, and so on. But I'm proud of it. God first one was unashamed of it, you know. Um, like I said, hopefully I'll go go to school eventually, get my own, like you know, I, you know, my own actual degree. Um, in terms of I go to an actual college eventually, get me a bachelor's degree, and hopefully Nice will hire me or any school, any school hire me. I would love if Nice hired me back, but any school, I really don't care, you know, in terms of what's God's plan for for me. Love, you know, me personally, I would love, 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 love to get hired by, by Nice. But in general, you know, part of God's plan, anybody can get hired me. And I'll flip your infrastructure upside down like a reciprocal. And that means, trust me, give me, I want to say a day, if not a month. If not, to be safe, give me an entire year. And, and I will make whatever high school, let alone middle school, and or you just in general, you know, county school district, one of the most top popping in the state, let alone city. Give me definitely, I think, like a college contract, five years, and we, we will be rising up those ranks as one of the top in everything in the whole country. You can't mess with us. You can't top us. You can't drop us. What you gonna do with us? Just join us, cause we're the best, and you won't get no better than us. And that's the the type of talent and potential, hunger and passion that not only do I have for youth development, but just in general when it comes to fixing the infrastructure of so many schools and planting the right seeds to 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 grow the right. I want to say to grow the right mass, but that doesn't make any sense. You know, to, to, to grow the right crops, you know, that will hopefully, you know, uh, beautify and plentify, you know, the school garden, if that makes any sense, and so on. You know, so I want everybody to go to Nice. I really do. But if you don't, um, depending on what school you're going to, for whatever reason, I can't blame you because, you know, you have an opportunity to get built, continue to keep building something from scratch. In two different ways. If you're a part of one of our one of Nisa's sport teams, you have the opportunity to build something from scratch. Scratch in terms of it's already been established, but we're still building back up in terms of in terms of going deep deep into the playoffs. If you're going to a new school, you know one of the, those two new schools, you have an opportunity where um, yeah, just entirely, you know, this is to actually lay the foundation. You know, you know, a complete clean slave foundation. Like I say, I'm gonna be at you know the the uh, the two new schools to help usher everybody in, you know, and, and and so on, and do what I can, you know, you know, supporting you all with you know life, school, and sports, at the sports and so on. Let alone just around the community in general. Whenever we pop up and see each other, you know, I'm still the most you know lively school spirited guy you're ever gonna find, and you know, and I and, and absolutely, you know, you know, and, and God's my judge and witness, you know how. We're gonna, you know, move about the cabin with this and so on. But if you can come to Nice, please come to Nice. You know, I want my a big part of my job is ambassadors. I don't know if anybody else who works for the school, you know, officially in terms of you know payroll. I don't know if anybody, you know, takes up the same responsibility that I know I've taken up as your ambassador. My job is your ambassador. If not anybody's premier job who works there, their job at any school, let alone these high school, is knowing that we have two new high schools opening up. Their job is to once again show you what's different about us from what you're going to over there. That means once again, please stay with us and keep growing with our family because, you know, once again, look at what we got, let alone uh, indeed just keeping as much in house talent in house as possible you can't choke and suffocate students lives words at 
actions and fuel a lot of, you know, creativity, arts, character, charisma, courage. You name all the different words like a name. You can't keep suppressing students, you know, imaginations and wonder why they're leaving you because they have a free market to explore. God bless.